Hi guys, Micro here. This is my loot from 24 hours of God Wars Dungeon 2. I had high hopes for every single boss. I really enjoy God Wars Dungeon 2, but apparently Dormant Anima Core really liked me in this video. I still got some nice loots and I share it all with you guys. I do 6 hours of every single boss to make up the 24, so I give a varied range of different GPN hours on different bosses. Anyway, let's get into this video. Oh, I finally got a drop. Yay. Uh, it's a nice little loot beam actually, so 12 mil, I'm happy. Uh, four hours in, we got one, yeah. Oh, that was pretty quick. 1.2 mil this time. It's not a 12 mil drop, but it's still a drop. <laughs> I ended the streak with Dormant Animal Core, but it still hit the table. Hey, I got a good drop. I got a crest again, so the second crest from these. Feels good. Twin Furies were absolutely great for money. I did get two crest drops, which probably tips them over the edge because the crest is worth quite a lot of money and the rest of their drops aren't worth so much. I was able to get 201 kills in the six hours, which meant I was getting around 40 kills an hour solo at Twin Furies. You can really easily kill them consistently at like a minute a time, so that makes them really easy to solo because you just cleave them both down with a scythe. The thing that made me the most money out of the bulk items was Infernal Ashes and Winer Zamorax. It was obvious that these two were going to be the big things from Twin Furies because they definitely do add up over time. I've got over 9 mil in both of these items. And then all of the other items just add to the price check and give you a bit more money. I got 4 Dormant Anima Core pieces, 3 of the Essence, 2 Blades and 2 Crests. Like I said, the 2 Crests pushed it over the edge. If I only got 1 Crest, it might not have been quite as good. But judging by this price check, I made 51 mil in 6 hours. This would work out to be a whopping 8.5 mil GP an hour, which is insane. Twin Furies are definitely really good for money, but they're kind of boring and annoying to do. They're my least enjoyable God Wars Dungeon 2 boss, but they do make some nice money. Even if we took one of the crests out of the equation, it's still over 6 mil an hour, which is still really, really awesome. Right, so now let's go on to the next boss. Oh, we got Essence. Oh no, Shadow Glaive. I was just say it's the same price, isn't it? Hey. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do we get? Siliskian Essence, nice. Bom bom. What? Oh my god, I didn't even see that I got that Animal Core Helm. My, oh, my pet picked it up straight away. I thought I was just sitting here. Oh my god. Oh. Last kill of the trip. Definitely needed that animal call. Oh. <laughs> I saw the legs on the floor and it's just like, I don't want these. Oh, Shadow Glaive. Like an actual Shadow Glaive, not the offhand this time. Yeah, 7 mil. Oh, yay. Dormant animal call legs. I, I can't get mad because Greg's been nice to me. So I'll let this one fly. But if I get another one, I'll uh, cry a little bit. Oh no! Uh, this is where I let you get a drop and you found me! Uh, chef, you let me down. For the great kills, I managed to get 261 kills, which works out around 44 kills an hour, and I done it in duo. This means our duo kill times were like 45 seconds or so on average. I wanted to do some duo, some solo, so I could get some different rates for you guys, so I done two of the bosses solo, two of the bosses duo. This is one of my duo bosses. So if we half this price check, this is 37.2 mil. 37.2 mil in 6 hours would work out to be 6.2 million GP an hour. Over 6 mil an hour, again, is really, really good, especially for God Wars Dungeon 2 and duo. Duoing God Wars Dungeon 2 for 6.2 million GP an hour is pretty damn good if you ask me. Gregorovic is probably the best for consistent drops just because the essence is worth so much. Looking at all of the normal common drops, you can see what makes you the most money and that is the battle staffs. 12 mil in battle staffs is quite a hefty amount of money. And then all of the other items add up over time for sure and the rune items are worth quite a lot of money as well. We got 5 dormant animal core pieces, we got 3 legs, 1 body and 1 helm. We got 4 essences which add up to 25 mil. 
we got a main hand glaive and an off hand glaive. When you roll for the dormant animal core pieces, you're rolling on the same table as everything else. You have two rolls that will give you dormant animal core pieces, and then one roll for every single item this boss drops. This actually means that you have more chance of getting a proper drop than a dormant animal core drop. So you have a chance for a glaive, an off hand glaive, and a crest, and you have two chances at animal core, which means you have a three out of five chance to get something that you actually want. So technically, this should be round the other way, and we should have more drops than anima core but over these 24 hours which we'll see soon dormant anima core really seemed to like me it started off well but then dormant anima core took over and i started getting so much of it but either way even with those five dormant anima core drops the essences made this boss absolutely awesome on to the next boss i don't want this this is where everyone's like great the dormant anima core and then i cry no I just started a new hour and it's like, here, have a dormant animal core links. Oh my god. Stop! I have a full dormant set in like an hour and a half. Oh my. <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh. I, I'm enjoying this series so far, like this loop from 24 hours of God was done, you can't wait to get more dormant pieces. I want to die. That's six animal core pieces in five hours. Oh, I finally got a drop, but uh, it's the worst one. I guess it's better than nothing. It looks cool, I've actually never seen it, so that's quite cool. Moving on to our six hours of Hellweir, we done Hellweir solo as well, and we got 170 kills. This means I was averaging around 29 kills an hour solo. I made 34.5 mil during this time, which would work out to be 5.7 million GP an hour, which is actually kind of good considering we only got one drop, and that one drop we got was the worst one. Looking at the common items, you can clearly see that the Lanta Dimes are absolutely insane for money compared to any of the other pieces. So whenever you get a Lanta Dime drop, it's always like 300 to 400k, so you get a good amount of money from those. Looking at the rare items, we got six Dormant Anima Core pieces. We got three helms, one body, and two legs. And we got one essence. And then we got that orb. The orb is 9 mil in the price check, but I don't even know if it sells for 9 mil. It will probably sell for under that because it's not that useful. So sadly, we got the worst drop. And again, the same as Greg, you have more chance of actually getting a drop at Hellweir than getting Dormant Anima Core. Because you have three items to roll on and only two chances to roll on Dormant Anima Core, and we rolled on it six times. Definitely not very happy with these six hours. I could have got so much better loot. If we swapped out one of these Dormant Anima Core pieces for one crest or one wand, then it's going to put the price check to like 50 mil and we would have made so much money an hour. Nearly 9 mil an hour just by switching out the Dormant Anima Core for an actual drop. So because we rolled so many times on the Dormant Anima Core, we only made 5.7 mil GP an hour. It's still good, but it's not great by any means. And now on to the last boss. Starting off doing Vindicta with a friend that really wanted to duo with me. He has like 2,000 Vindicta kills, but somehow still managed to die. Next I oh my god. Come on, next. How can you die to Vindicta Flames? Oh, really? I, I just can't catch a break. Really? Someone put me out my misery, please. <laughs> I, I'm so happy with life. Oh. <laughs> This is getting ridiculous. Come on, game. This is absolutely dumb. So this is six hours of Duo Vindicta. Duo Vindicta for six hours got 36.6 mil. So my split of this was 18.3 million GP. This would work out a tiny bit over 3 mil GP an hour. 3 mil GP an hour at God Wars Dungeon 2 is terrible. We didn't get one proper drop and it was really depressing killing Vindicta for 6 hours just getting dormant anima core. As you can see though the dragon bones are by far the best item this boss drops and then all the rest add up over time. We got 5 pieces of dormant anima core, we got 2 helms, 1 body and 2 legs. It's really, really annoying when Dormant Anima Core is rolled so many times. It's just so frustrating that it's on the same drop table as all of the rare items. 
every time you get a dormant anima core drop, you know it could have been a crest, it could have been a lance, and then you get it five times in six hours with nothing else. You just don't want to go back to God Wars Dungeon 2. We did also get eight essences, which was 2.2 mil. Three mil GP an hour at Vindicta was really, really bad. But if we just got one lance or one crest in those six hours, we would have made so much more money because they're over 20 mil each. Just by getting one of these as a drop, your GPN hour would be increased by like 4 to 5 mil. It would be really, really awesome if I just got one of them. But hey ho, didn't get anything, so now I need to get my revenge on Vindicta. So I got my friends, we rallied, and we went with our spoons. So I rallied the troops around, and I got them to line up ready to kill Vindicta. As you can see, they're all primed and ready with their spoons. And then it was just time to wait for her to spawn, to pounce on her and get those spoons cracking. It took a long time to kill her with the spoons to be honest, but I'm surprised how accurate we actually were. We were able to hit quite often. We all did use blood nihils and things like that to increase our accuracy. But it wasn't actually that bad. I made sure that we only used a spoon and a shield so we didn't have any other bonuses. It was always really fun doing stuff like this with people and just having a laugh. I'll let you guys listen to our awesome raid tactics in our Discord chat. It always gets a bit hectic with things like this, but it's always fun to listen to. I need to get this damage off. Keep walking it, we're good. Ow. Oi! Barge! Come on! I got this. One shot, I'll be the one who dies. Come on, walk to bleed! Another one! Yeah. Come on! <laughs> Wait, one more fly. It's like we're doing like oh, a, a raid oh, or some shit. Right. This is nice. Oh, oh, yeah, this oh, is no, harder no, than no. BM. <laughs> <laughs> this is our new Yakamaru, guys. You know, we can do yeah, this, we can do Yaka. Got it! Electric knife. Easy. <laughs> Shot back! <laughs> 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 Thanks for watching, I hope you did enjoy this video. I'll leave a meme that my friend Gentle Shen made for me on screen. Give this video a like if you did enjoy, subscribe if you're new for tons of RuneScape 3 related stuff, and until next time, see ya!